Well, I'm in the countryside, not far from my place. And this is uh, African boxthorn, Lycium ferrocissimum. What I'm thinking though is, if you read uh, Wild, what is it, Wild Herbs of Australia and New Zealand by Tim Lowe, he says that these are edible, the ripe ones, like goji berries, the uh, ripe ones are edible. You don't eat green goji berries, of course. The fact is, however, I'm interested in the possibility of grafting because these are supremely drought resistant, these African boxthorn. And uh, it occurs to me that it should be possible to use them as a rootstock with uh, a goji berry, uh, Lyceum chinensis, grafted on top of them. Or the other type of uh, goji berry, uh, is it um, Lyceum berries? Lyce Lyceum. Ba, ba, is it barbensis or barbidensis or something? Something like that. There's two types of goji berry. But anyway, the main one that I've got is uh, the Chinese one, chinensis, Lycium chinensis. I can't see why this couldn't be uh, used as a rootstock for uh, goji berry. And um, it's uh, yes, very drought resistant. That means it could suck up all the water with its powerful roots and it could be fed into the goji berry plant. That's my opinion. Furthermore, you could select uh, these trees for um, for non-invasiveness, like some of these sucker. Some uh, African box thorns do sucker, but you could find a non-suckering variety to use as a rootstock. And as for any possibilities of poison or anything, I mean, um, it's it's common practice now for tobacco rootstocks to be used in uh, tomato growing uh, plantations and tree tomato, that is tamarillo. Uh, uh, pl um, plantations. So um, if you can uh, grow uh, tomatoes on tobacco rootstock and they sell them in the nurseries on tobacco rootstock I don't see why you couldn't simply just have a goji berry grafted onto uh, uh, one of these, uh, Elysium ferrocitimum, an African boxthorn. Also there is actually um, there is actually a native Lyceum as well that would be very drought resistant. So I don't see why we can't be grafting uh, goji berries, Lyceum chinensis, onto uh, these rootstocks. That's just my idea. I'm going to try it actually too. I've got a whole lot of um, goji berries in pots. I'm going to try graft. I'm not. I've never done grafting before, but I reason that if I um, peel some of the skin off a goji berry and put it next to one of these and uh, bind it tightly together, I should see if a graft takes it. Probably will. And uh, then we can have all these drought resistant goji berry trees because Australia is a very dry place and goji berries are quite tough but they're not as tough as these and I think it would be to the advantage of a goji berry, gro goji berry grower to graft them onto African boxthorn. Of course African boxthorn are considered a noxious weed and they are pretty cruel. They've got dreadful, dreadful thorns all over them and you can spike yourself and they are dreadful but the fact is they are edible to some and they are a type of goji berry really. My grandfather used to eat these. Let's taste that nice bit of skin see what it's like. It's very sweet. It tastes just like the goji berries I've been having on my ice cream actually. Oops, my vegan friends don't, online don't like me eating uh, milk, pro <laughs> milk products. Anyway, let me show you my goji berries and the possibility of grafting them. Here's a goji berry that I'm growing in a pot just for fun. It's so big now, it's got tendril, um, big long arms, whatever you want to call them, tentacles. And it's getting so big, I had to pot it out. I put it out in a bigger pot. That's one of my bigger goji berry, bigger goji berry plants. But um, let's go and have a look at the ones that I've got in pots. I've got so many of them. I grew them all from cuttings. What's that? A piece of fat, cockatoo feather. Here are a few goji berries grown in pots. Lyceum chinensis. And this is all this is just spring growth. It's all just tender and could be grafted, couldn't it? It could be grafted onto a box thorn somehow. 
I should learn how to graft, shouldn't I? And uh, I could develop an African box thorn uh, rootstock with uh, a goji grafted on top. That would be excellent. Shouldn't be too hard to do in theory. I'm only theorizing it about it about it at the moment. Look at that. So, is it called a scion? Scion, a scion, the piece that you put on top of the rootstock. Anyway, I can't see why it can't be grafted. I'm going to try it. I think somehow, even just tying two branches together stripping them like that, scraping off a bit of skin and just tying it close and taking the pot down out into the countryside and leaving it beside an African box thorn stem of about the same size and binding it with electrical tape and let them grow together and see what happens. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Then if that took I could uh, cut the uh, cut below the uh, uh, box thorn and then root the box thorn, box thorn into a pot and I'd have a grafted goji berry, wouldn't I? That would be fun. I think that's what I'm going to do actually. Let's go and look for a nice little sized African box thorn out in the countryside that would just fit the bill for my experiment. Look, here I am down in the countryside, and here's my potted goji plant. I should be able to somehow graft it onto this little African box thorn. See the vicious thorns here? But in theory, we should be able to get these two to meld together, grow together, and then I can separate it from the mother goji berry plant, and I can trim back all this all this uh, African box thorn wood and just cultivate a goji berry grafted on an African box thorn rootstock. That's my theory and it's not as if I'm doing it, well I mean I'm just doing it out in the countryside aren't I? So it should work shouldn't it? Yes I agree, <laughs> I agree. Someone agrees with me. That's what I shall do and I'll let you know what the results are. I'll skin both of them. I'll then... I'll skin both of them on one side. Then I'll tape them together with electrical tape and come back and, in a few weeks' time and see if they've melded together. Of course I'll come down occasionally and put some water on this goji berry so it doesn't die of thirst. If it does take, I can just water the plant and have a grafted goji berry plant I mean, goji berries are a little bit more tasty probably than the wild box thorns. They taste very similar though. Furthermore, you can eat goji berry leaves in moderation. I haven't heard that you can eat uh, African box thorn leaves. I did email Tim Lowe and ask him and he didn't think it was a very good idea. But I know that you can eat goji berry leaves in moderation. See you then. That's my experiment described. Well, here we are. We are out in the Australian sticks. This is a PS. I didn't uh, exactly write, correctly remember the name of the other type of uh, goji berry from uh, Asia, but it's Lyceum barbarum, and I can't see why this sort too. Lycium barbarum couldn't be grafted onto this little wild um, African box thorn, Lycium ferricissimum. So I might do the same experiment with a Lycium barbarum. Lycium barbarum's got thorns anyway, small ones. There's no reason why the two can't be grafted together, in my opinion, but I'm not a botanist, nor am I experienced in horticulture. But I'm going to have an experiment nevertheless. And we might be able to soon have grafted uh, Lyceum barbarum and grafted Lyceum chinensis grafted onto African box thorn that is Lyceum ferricissimum rootstocks and that would be lots of fun in Australia where plants need as much water as they can get. I need as much water as I can get down here. <laughs> mm. I'll see you later. It's so hot and dry.
Even a goji berry needs a drink. Even an African box store needs a drink. Oh, I need a drink. See you then. There's an African box thorn that's been sprayed by the council. See how they've sprayed it and killed it? They see it as useless. It's just a mess of old thorns. Just a mess of thorns. Box thorns. There's a mass of Af African box thorn that's been sprayed by the council. Dreadful thorns and seen as useless. But I think it could be used to graft goji berries. That's my opinion.